well hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is mansa queen and in today's video we are starting off with a holiday specials and this is one of my favorite thanksgiving sides and it is a delicious moist corn casserole using the jiffy corn muffin mix guys it is so simple so easy using everyday ingredients you do not want to miss this again it is a staple in my home for thanksgiving so let's get cooking Okay friends, so let's get started. Here I have one can of whole kernel corn. So this is about a, I think it's about a 14 or 15 ounce can. You just need one can of that. And the good tip about this is that you wanna drain out all the water, all the juice that comes in with the corn. You wanna drain it out. We just need the kernel corn, okay? So that's what I have here. I have drained up all the excess moisture in there, put it into a bowl. And of course, the start of the show, you're gonna need one pack of Jiffy corn muffin mix. This is about an eight, um, a little over eight ounce pack. So you just need one pack of that. Um, you can also get the vegetarian Jiffy, which does not contain any lard, if that is a preference. I do not mind, so I'm just using what I have in my pantry. So you guys, do you know why this happens? It's always intact. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I just wanna combine the, the muffin mix with the kernel corn and then we will go in with the rest of the ingredients you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit because this recipe is so simple so easy to put together so your oven should start preheating by now so now i'm going to add in a cup of sour cream this is one of the main ingredients here that secret ingredient to getting that moist and delicious corn casserole or corn pudding. So it is a must have. So one cup of that. Next, you would need two eggs at room temperature. So make sure you bring, in, bring them out early enough so they could get to room temperature. And yeah, you just need two eggs and the eggs will act as a binder to get all of it together so it would not be too mushy, all right? Another main ingredient is the cream style corn. So you have the whole kernel corn and we're gonna use the cream corn. And with this one, we're gonna empty out the whole can so you're not draining any of it. So the same amount of the kernel corn and the cream style corn, but you drain the water off of the kernel corn, the whole one. All right, so there we go. This will also add a lot of moisture. You can add this to your cornbread as well, makes a difference. And of course, I am going to add in a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I always, always like to add vanilla in my corn um, casseroles. It is so different, there's just something about it. And of course, you will need some butter. I am using my Kerrygold unsalted butter, one stick, which is an equivalent of half a cup of butter. You wanna go ahead and melt that, make sure that it is not warm at all. You do not wanna add um, warm butter to your mixture. So yeah, it is just cool. So you add that melted butter. Again, I opted for unsalted butter because the Jiffy muffin mix already contains salt in it and I'm trying to control the sodium intake in here, okay? So that gives you more leverage. It just gives you more, um, a better chance to control what you eat. So I just opt for the unsalted butter so I just get the taste off of it. So you just wanna mix that just to get everything combined. We're not trying to over mix or anything. As you can see, I am even using a wooden spatula. Now you can stop right here, but I am adding um, some cheddar cheese. You could use medium or sharp cheddar, depending on your preference. And in here, I have about two cups of that. Now you can add some in the batter now and top of the rest over the casserole before you put it in the oven or you can just simply fold it into the batter right now and bake it which is um, just what I'm doing uh, again you would once you're done baking you will see at the end that you will be able to visibly see those you know cheese strings on top of the casserole when it's done baking so here we go I am using today a 9 by 13 baking pan and I'm going in with a cooking spray. This is just a butter flavored cooking spray. You can just use butter over it 
and then into the 9 by 13 pan you would pour in all your mixture it is optional if you do want to add any spices like onion powder garlic powder some seasoned salt i prefer this method honestly i love the combination of these simple ingredients it is so delicious and it pairs beautifully with a whole lot of dishes as a side for thanksgiving i also have a a homemade version of this which i would link in the description box below if you want to see how i made this from scratch with no muffin mix so now into our oven it goes preheated i am baking on the middle rack okay and we're going to be baking today at 350 degrees fahrenheit for 45 minutes it might look a little jiggly at the beginning but it would set and everything will come together and here it is 45 minutes later moment of truth you can see those um cheese strings just peeking nicely and this just looks so good it just forms a beautiful golden brown color very light and my whole house smells so good i am a lover of corn so i'm just gonna go ahead and let it settle for at least 20 minutes before cutting into it this will give you um more room and more time for the the corn casserole to settle so that you'll be technically be able to just scoop it out so this is what we're working with guys if you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up i do have coming up a lot of thanksgiving recipes i plan on doing like her uh, seven days of thanksgiving so it will start on november 1st and so for the month of november you will be getting seven videos from me from the first of november all the way through um, just before Thanksgiving, which is um, the Monday on the 22nd. So every Monday and Friday throughout the month of November, expect a new video from me. And that is just part of our Thanksgiving special. So this is what we're working with right here. That crust right here. You guys, that crust, if you've been following me, you know I'm a crust kind of girl. It is so delicious. And again, you know, um, cheese contains some salt as well so that unsalted butter came in so handy so i highly do recommend that so this is what it looks like really nice creamy it is not mushy at all i am not a fan of really wet pudding i don't like it so this is just a perfect consistency for me really nice you could see the the corn kernels peeking out that um egg is such a good binder just two eggs you need and it is just perfect again i hope you do try this recipe if you do and you want to show me a picture you can always tag me on instagram or facebook i will put my handle on the screen okay and i will be happy to repost that on my stories as well thank you guys so much for watching again i hope you do look forward to our seven days of thanksgiving coming up from november 1st to the 22nd so expect a video from me from the 1st to the 22nd all right and make sure you do check out some of my other videos i have a uh, banana pudding and lots of other hack videos thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you with my next one y'all stay safe i love you all bye